And so how did you kind of get, like, tell me the Amy story. Mm. What, how did you get from the, the piece of paper finishing up to, to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, once I uh, finished uni and got that, that piece of paper, um, I actually didn't take the same path as most of my other um, students and, and colleagues and friends did at that stage, which was, you know, uh, do a graduate role and then, you know, work your way up and, and, and go from there. Um, I sort of just went, I want to go snowboarding for a few months. Nice. <laughs> and so I took off to Canada and I actually had a, a bit of a, a break and snowboarded, but I worked over in the Fairmont hotels over there. So I really uh, learned a lot, you know, through that yeah. role as well about, you know, the insides of, you know, how a big hotel works, which is awesome. Um, and then, you know, from there, I actually, I really did focus on traveling and working. So I went um, over to London and I was working over there. So between Canada and London, I was doing different consulting roles, different contract roles, um, particularly in the HR space, a few business development roles as well. So you used your expensive piece of paper a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. Because again, you know, I didn't want to um, not you know, move up in my career, but mm. I also didn't want to just straight away be you know, locked into a, a two year or three year graduate program in the one organization. Like I was, I was in experimentation mode, you know, yes. I wanted to really work out what I wanted to do. Um, because I think that's a big question that most people have at that stage. And you only know, I think when you're in something and when you get to, to try it and probably get to fail at it as well. You know, I think yeah. we're all so afraid of failing, but you don't know until you're in it. So so did yeah. you feel, did you feel, you know, vulnerable and scared and kind of pushed at the time when you were kind of experimenting and trying things on? Or do you look back with hindsight and go, no, I kind of needed to do, I needed to bounce around a bit? Yeah, like I've always um, been, I guess, a quite a, a driven, <laughs> yes, <laughs> independent <Like> woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yes, I had plenty of people, you know, say, you're crazy. What are you doing? Like, just, you know, get back and... Um, and start your career but for me I was building my career and I got to actually um, you know work in different roles like I worked with HSBC over in the UK got to travel around all through the UK went to all their branches and was working on their staffing strategies from like a branch perspective so you know opportunities like that I never you know would have had unless I sort of took a different path and put myself out there a little bit differently perhaps to just another typical grad that was out there competing against every other grad yeah so you you were over over in London, over in Europe, bouncing around, doing your thing. Yeah, great experience. Yeah. And then, how did you end up back in Oz? So uh, I came back to to Oz um, because the UK was basically going to kick me out for my visa. I had okay, <laughs> visa. <laughs> practical reasons. <laughs> and also, it was coming up to winter too, and I was like, I cannot do another winter. <laughs> yes. So all of those stars kind of sunshine, aligned. please. Yeah, <laughs> came back to the sunshine. And then I thought, okay, right, now I'm going to get really serious about my career here in Oz. I'm just going to climb this corporate ladder. I'm going to do it the way everyone else tells me I should be doing it. And um, I, I started working in a HR management role when I got back, which was awesome. Um, I was in that role for just over 12 months, and then I was made redundant. And so I, there was myself and there was 250 other um, employees oh. across the multiple um, facilities that I was working across. And... Um, not only that, because I was in HR and helped everyone, you know, uh, find other employment opportunities, whether it be, you know, at other facilities within that organisation or with the new organisation that was taking over. Right. Um, and so I actually helped transition everyone into the new organisation. You know, you really miss, like I had a great team. I was really feeling um, like I was finding my feet. I had like great opportunities ahead of me. Um, and so you do kind of go through a bit of a, a process where you're like, hold on a minute, this is not <laughs> yeah. what I signed up for in a way. But I was actually really grateful for that experience because from that point on, like it made me never take any role for granted. Right. Like I fundamentally don't believe in job security. Like I, I know a lot of people are chasing this sense of job security, but that taught me from really early on that you have to really own your career mm. and you have to really be proactive about it. Because I just thought, you know, if I wake up again and I'm made redundant the next day or, you know, within a, a few weeks' time, I never want to feel like I'm short of opportunities mm. um, to, to be able to have that choice. You mm. know, not just take something because you're desperate, but to really, like, be in a position and have built your network and have really built your personal brand to a point 
where you know you've got opportunities that are constantly coming to you so you never feel like you're really stuck or lost in a particular position um, because you always have options so that's sort of what that taught me really early on and it also taught me that you know I was, I was very comfortable I was playing mm. very well in my comfort zone and um, you know the next role that I took on after that was you know another step up and that's actually really um, what brought me now into what I'm doing which was working with mm. a lot of you know, really experienced CEOs, you know, they'd run companies from five to a hundred million turnover and mm. then I was helping them transition their careers um, and create a portfolio career for themselves and mm. become business mentors and all these sorts of things. Mm. So, you know, to be in that was awesome. And mm. so, you know, that redundancy was the reason that that happened. That happened. So, 